All right, well, speaking of money, Stacey, Donald Trump is just now taking his first steps toward raising the massive amounts of money needed for a national presidential race. And that contrasts with Hillary Clinton, who began fundraising for the general election all the way back in November and has raised some $187 million so far. Through the end of March, Trump had raised $12 million, mostly from fans who clicked the Donate button on his website. And with that in mind, we wanted to know if the online accessibility of candidates is affecting the way we vote. So today, we're asking an expert some, for some eight on your side answers, and we've got them. Joining me now is our social media expert from Illuminate Local, Jonathan Sellers. Thanks for being here. Always happy to be here. Well, this is a hot time for social media and just for politics in general. So how has social media changed? You know, four years ago, it was a lot different than what we're seeing now. I mean, really, that's it. You know, four years ago, social media, it was the, it was the first election that social media played a big part in, mm -hmm. actually influencing the outcome, and it brought a lot of people out. This time around, the way we experience social media is completely different. The right. algorithms have changed. The content we see has Seems changed. Faster too. It's much faster. There's much more. There's many more media outlets that are pushing the content, and those media outlets are what we're seeing a lot more. And there's a big popularity with memes these days too. You see so many. We're going to take a look at some of these too. So bring us up to speed on some of these. This is Ted Cruz looks like. Ted Cruz looks like. Apparently he looks like a lot of, <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of things, a lot of funny people throughout history. And so people have really ran with that and they make a lot of fun of him with that. Also, he gets a lot of negativity around that because they say he looks like some maybe not so, uh, not so good people. Here's this the next one. Hashtag never Trump R.I.P. GOP. Yeah, this is, you know, with the with the announcement that Trump is going to be probably the candidate, uh, you know, a lot of people are running from the party right now, and so this, this type of thing is really, um, really going, making the rounds. And on the Democratic side, Bernie or Hillary? This is a really popular one, and this is the type of meme that, that can actually influence people. So basically they compare something, uh, something silly, but then they make Hillary nice. seem unapproachable, Bernie seem very approachable. And so when that, you know, when people see that over and over, it right. actually affects their mentality. And we have one more called texting Hillary. Yeah, so this, the bottom picture uh, is one that I believe Hillary's campaign actually put out to show her as a leader. Uh, but obviously the internet does not allow that kind of thing to go on, and so they turned it into a joke. And so there's tons and tons of these where they're basically making her look as if she, uh, you know, doesn't care. And obviously there's a lot of hashtags out there we can talk days about, days and especially days. with this uh, political season. But obviously this is making a big impact on uh, how politics work today. It really is. All right, Jonathan, thanks so much for being with us. We're going to send it over to you, Stacey.